think most of the people in this world, whether the great president, whether they're a good professor, whether good engineer, a good scientist, or good anchor, like you. Learn from the mistakes the other people. No matter how smart you are, you will encounter these mistakes. You learn from mistakes not because you will be able to avoid mistakes. You will able to, when these mistakes come, this suffer comes, you know how to deal with it. When I first went to USA for raising money, talking to the venture capitalists, a lot of people say, oh, Jack, no, 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 no. China doing business by the Guanxi. How can you do business on the internet? And I know that without the trust system, the credit system, it's impossible to do business. So we, we every, in the past four, 14 years, everything we do is trying to build up the trust system, the record system. Well, uh, Charlie, you know, I, I, I'm so proud of today. I learned a lot of things from, from movies. Uh -huh. I learned how to make a speech from the movie called um, Bodyguard, Whitney Houston. When she sings the songs, I look at her, wow, that's the way that you make a speech, because I never know how to make speech, because I'm not an actor. But when I saw the movie, I say, wow, if you sing from your heart, if you sing naturally, if you are you're yourself, so I, I realized, and I learned a lot from the movies, you know, even learned from The Godfathers. I learned, my favorite movie is uh, Forrest Gump, you know. These, uh, these are the things I learned so much. Mm -hmm. And I would discuss about the, the news, the inspirations we got from movies. What do you think your core competence is? Our core is culture. It's not the technology. I think technology is a tool. The core competence of our company is we have 220,000. We grow from 18 people to now 20,000 young people. And we focus a lot on the value and the mission and making sure the culture, everybody work for helping others instead of, instead of you know, just making money. We have a secret code for Alibaba success. Just like Open Sesame, is the secret code for Alibaba. The secret code for everybody is keep your dream alive because it might come true someday. <laughs> this is what the secret code is. And this guy's leadership is about responsibility. You believe it, but don't pe the people don't believe it. But if you think it's so critical, you should pay any price to do it. So that day changed my mind, and I called back to my uh, team and said, let's launch it within one month. If somebody has to go to the jail, I go to the jail. Who will be the second one following me? If I go, you continue, and you go to the jail, you go continue. That was the, called the leadership determination. And year 2004, I made a decision here, I called back. And now today, the Alipay launched, and it's so big, over you know, 800 million people today using Alipay globally. This is called, yeah. Wonderful. Shall we take one from a YDL to be, to be fair? Any questions? Yeah, please. Hello, my name is Pablo from Costa Rica, YGL. And given your perspective of caring and being a trustee of all this, what do you do for self-care? and also maybe within your company. Because earlier on, often you can cut through sleep or other things in a silly way, and you realize that if you plan for the long term, one also has to take personal care, be there mindfulness, or prioritizing better. And how are you doing this, and how do you promote that in your company? Well, I'm lucky that I have 18 co-founders, <laughs> and most of them my students. When we, in my apartment, I told them my dream and my mission, and we videotape. Funny thing is that when Alibaba launched the, for the first day, I said, let's videotape everything. 
every important meetings that we join together. I, the purpose is that someday, if we fail, we give the videos to the people to research why we fail. If we succeed, give the videos to the other people. So we have like almost a whole house of videotapes. So the first videotape, I say, I speak for two hours, and those guys look at me. <laughs> okay, so that's what you want to do? I say, yeah, this is what I want to do. Um, we, I was the first. I know nothing about technology. I know that nothing about management. I know nothing about. But the only thing is that you don't have to know a lot of things. You have to find the people who are smart than you are. My first way is always find people who knowledge on computer smart than I am. Accounting smart than. For so many years, I always try to find the people smart than I am. And when you find so many smart people, my job is to making sure the smart people can work it together. And then, if smart people can work it together, it's easier. The vision they will believe because if. Stupid people can work it together easily. Smart people can never work together. <laughs> But stupid people work it together easily. They don't believe the vision. The people who believe the vision but they don't work together. So very important is finding smart people. And my job is two things: making sure they work together. So the culture is important. Long term, you should be ideal with great, strong vision leader. But you should also have to survive today. If you don't survive today, you go. So, <coughs> the best way to promote your company is not the you. It's not me as the CEO. The best way is your product, your services, your employees. The best impro- best product of your company is your employee. So I spend a lot of time, early days. For the first two thousand employees of Alibaba, I speak everybody for for one or two hours when they joining. I said, I will never promise you will be rich. I never promise you will be promoted, but I promise you suffer. <laughs> I promise you will have a terrible life, and right, and all the all the terrible things I promise when join this company, right. But good things. If you promise good things. You are misleading them, because I cannot promise myself. We we know this is the future, but we not we are not sure. And they do always say, and I think I've experienced this myself. If you knew how hard it would be, would you would you do it? And it seems for you a key part of leadership is leaving the ego at the door. And being willing to hire people better than you, who you can then kind of empower to carry out your your vision. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah.、Um. Hi, I'm Iman、uh, from Global Super Jakarta Hub.、Um, how does your experience of being a teacher influence how you run the business today? And do you have any message for those who are working in education、uh, space? Thank you. How, the ex- how how does your experience of being a teacher in early days、oh. influence how you run the business today?、Oh. Yeah. Let me tell you one thing. I never thought I could be a CEO. I never thought I later I become a good CEO. One of the thing I learn is from teachers. As a teacher, very important the character of a teacher is the teacher always expect his students better. I want this student to become a banker. That student become a mayor. That student is a scientist. This is all teachers want. If you don't have this kind of thinking, it's a it's a it's a lousy look. It's a, it's a terrible teacher. A good teacher always want the other people better. You don't want this teacher in jail. That teacher is a bankrupt. That teacher is you know, <laughs> you know. So as a CEO, I trained myself is I always want those people join the company, do better than they thought. And everything the company should do is making sure the good environment to train him to be more positive. And everything we do, this is a teacher. And teacher does not mean I know better than you are. Everything I know better than you are because I learn from others. So a teacher should learn all the time. A teacher should share all the time. A teacher should always expect the other people better than you are. And by the way, education 
It's a good, big challenge now. If we do not change the way we teach, 30 years later we'll be in trouble. Because the way we teach, the, the thing we talk, teach our kids are the things the past 200 years is knowledge based. And we cannot teach our kids to I think um, because we started about that, doing business on the internet, I don't know you, you don't know me. So how can you do things online unless you have trust? So for e-commerce, the most important thing was trust. I think when I first went to USA for raising money, talking to the venture capitalists, a lot of people say, oh, Jack, no, 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 no. China doing business by the Guan Xi. How can you do business on the internet? And I know that without the trust system, the credit system, it's impossible to do business. So we, we every, in the past four, 14 years, everything we do is trying to build up the trust system, the record system. Well, uh, Charlie, you know, I, I, I'm so proud today when I, I talk to the young people in China and in the world, people don't trust each other. The government and people and, and media and everybody think, ah, this guy's cheating. But because of e-commerce, we finish 60 million transactions every day. People don't know each other. I don't know you, I send products to you. You don't know me, you want the money to me. And I don't know you, I give a pers- person a package, I don't know him. He took something to so cross the ocean, cross river and send. This is the trust. We have six, at least 60 million trust happening every day. Learn from the mistakes, the other people. No matter how smart you are, you will encounter these mistakes. You learn from mistakes not because you will be able to avoid mistakes. You will able to, when these mistakes come, this suffer comes, you know how to deal with it. How to face it. I... I, the book I want to write, if I, if I want, mm. if I can, is Alibaba 1001 Mistakes. <laughs> this is the most treasurable things that in my life. In my life, it's not how much we achieved. It's how much we gone through the tough days and mistakes. And this is what, you, if you start to think now, it would be good. So if you ask me when I was a boy, I never felt about that. Never. I Let's go to person. the back of the room. Yeah. Uh, Fan Lin, uh, Y Jiao from Shanghai. Uh, I know that uh, you recently uh, spent uh, 100 million, uh, 100 billion RMB in deep tech research. I just wonder how you think of the future of deep tech and how that's going to influence humanity and creativity. Yeah. Thank you. I think technology, as a company, we invest 100 uh, billion IMB, which is like 150, right, uh, or 15, no, yes, 15 billion, 15 billion US dollars on researching for the high tech. Um, as a company, I hope in the future we gain our profit because of our technology, not because of our size. So, we have to invest in technology. But I don't like this kind of, there's a debate. Artificial intelligence, big data, is going to threat the human beings. I think artificial intelligence should support human beings. The technology should always doing something to enable people instead of disable people. When steam machine comes, when cars comes, people hate it. You know, today we think car is good. When the, man, the, 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 the automobile when first was designed, people hate, especially this car, this horseman. <laughs> right? They destroy every car they can see. So I would say, people like us, when we have the money, we have the resources, we have the young, all the excellent young people, we should spend money on the technology that enable people, empower people, make life better. So this is what we want to invest. And I think artificial intelligence, no matter 
how artificial intelligence is good. Human being in the future competed with the machine on knowledge. You don't have a chance. Computer is always going to be smarter than you are. When there's a car, forget about who runs faster. When there's a plane, don't think you can fly like a. When there's a computer, you know, computer is always smarter than you are. They never f- forget. They remember everything. They never get angry. They calculate faster. But computer can never be as wise as a man. I uh, at the beginning, I never thought. Um, I, I thought when I was young, I said everything's possible. Now I know not everything's possible. When you have something, you have to think about. You have to consider about the others. You have to consider about the customer, society, your employees, your shareholders. So, so, so there are so many things that I think if you continue to work hard, there's there's possibility. And um, I just feel that I'm enthusiastic about what we are doing. At the beginning, for the first five years, I just want to survive. And five years later, I, I think, think that's two thousand from ninety point. <coughs> yeah. But later, I think, wow, so many people's lives changed. I was so. Excited, you know. For the first three years, we made a zero revenue, zero revenue. But we we are so excited to sp- continue to work. You know what happened? I remember many times when I go to restaurant have a dinner. Somebody came. I when I was trying to pay the bill, the owner of the restaurant came to say, "Sir, your bill is paid by someone." And the small note say, "Hey, Mr. Ma, I'm your customer of Alibaba Group." Alibaba platform. I made a lot of money, and I know you don't make any money. I pay the bill for you. <laughs> yeah. And I remember one thing. One day that I was uh, sitting somewhere in the coffee, somebody sending me a cigar. I don't smoke cigar, but there's a note. Of, Thank you very much. I'm your customer. <laughs> and I remember in the Taobao days, I was at the Shangri-La Hotel in Beijing. When I get on the taxi, a man who opened the door for me. The, the boy at at the gate. He said, "Jack, thank you very much. I'm so the, I'm you... here. My girlfriend makes more money than I do on your site." <laughs> and this is something that you know that it's not amazing. If you don't do it, nothing is possible. If you try to do it, at least you have the hope. When I、uh, in the graduate from universities, and before I. You know, for three years I tried to fill in the universities, so I applied jobs for thirty times, got rejected. I went for a police. They said, "No, you're not good." I went to even even the、uh, KFC. When KFC came to China, come to my city, twenty twenty four people went for the job. Twenty、yeah. three people were accepted. I was the only one guy. <laughs> And we went for police. Five people, four of them accepted. I was the only guy that I rece- received it. So to me, being turned down, rejected. Oh, by the way, I told you that I was I applied for Harvard for ten times, rejected. <laughs> I know you rejected. Sorry now. Sorry now. Ten、right. <laughs> times you wrote them and said, "I'd like to come to Harvard." Yeah, <clears throat> and then I told myself someday I should go teach there, buddy. <laughs> What's the difference between smart and wisdom? My view is, a smart people see something the other people don't see. A wise people see something he pretend he did not see it. A smart people know what he want. A wise people know what he doesn't want. A wisdom, the person with wisdom knows. I don't. Only you know I don't want this. Then you know what do you want. So I think this is the money we invest to support human beings, not supporting Alibaba. This lab is open to the whole world. It's not supporting Alibaba at all. Yeah. Wonderful. So I, uh, hi, I'm Saad, global shaper from the Islamabad Hub. I really want to know what you think about leadership.、Uh, is it something that comes from the heart when it comes to decision making as a leader, or is it something that 
uh, that you have to take, uh, you have to think through your mind as well? Or is it a bit of both? Like as a leader, when you make decisions, would you go with something that you really feel about from your heart? Or would you have to try to have a mix of your mind and your heart when you make decisions? Yeah, I think you are, uh, that's a good question. I've been thinking about that. First, it's, uh, it's your nature instinct. There must be, have something that you, different. Second is you, you need a training. You should be trained through all the tough experience, but still positive. I found out some great leaders in the world, they are always positive. They never complain others and never complain. And uh, they, they look at the things in a different view, like normal people. So I think people in my company, they, at the beginning, they don't like me because I'll always think about 10 years five years and then after we're working together for three or five years they find hmm, you're right then we got the credit rating and as a CEO one of the jobs where everybody's happy you have to see the unhappy things when everybody's unhappy you have to see the happy things so leadership is nature but you have to have a train and learn and I got my leadership so I've upgraded in Davos. I see so many. You know, Ali Enter Financing, how many people here know about Ali Pay? Thank you. Ali Pay's decision was made here. I was thinking about Ali Pay. You know, but I was not able there to launch Ali Pay because in China, if you do financing without license, you will be in jail at that time. So I said, I went to the banks, can you help us do the e-commerce on transaction? No, 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 no. No banks would accept it. So if there will be no Alipay, no financing, the e-commerce would go nowhere. So I was, year 2004, I was here. Your definition of the future. I'm going to be uh, not facetious, but pragmatic here. You know, people say, let's think about 2030. Well, I'd put to you that 2030 is 10 hours from now. In other words, the future is happening much quicker than anyone really wants to imagine. Do you think that this is a serious mindset, culture problem? Yeah. First, I think in the future, 2030, there will be more rich company. There will be more rich people. There will be the country will have, the world will have a lot of challenges, but those people, tell me, any society, any time, any, any period of this, the world, there is no challenges. But what about the argument that AI algorithms are going to hollow out the middle class by removing a lot of jobs that have been assumed to be um, there in, 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 into infinity because the nature of that work is being done by machines? No, because... Because when you don't know about AI, when you hear too much movie stars by AI, you start to worry. Why are you worry? Because you don't know it. I think people worry about when the first technology revolution comes to the world, we worry about machine. Last century, we worry about electricity. Today, we worry about AI. What is AI? AI, artificial intelligence, do you think we human beings only know less than 7% of our brain. And less than 7% of the brain, do you think we can create a machine that kill people? Impossible. Human beings should have confidence. Machine only have chips. Human beings have a heart. The heart you can never create. Machine we can replace some part of our brain. Machine can never pre replace your heart. Trust me, that it will take a lot of jobs, but it will create more jobs. But maybe you are not competent. You're not good for that jobs. Somebody will. And I think, let me tell you, that when people worry about, in our company we do not call it artificial intelligence, we call ourselves Alibaba intelligence. <laughs> we think it's a great thing. I said yesterday in a university that my grandfather worked 18 hours a day, seven days a week. He said, oh, I'm very busy. 
We people work five days a week. Three days, eight hours a day. We are very busy. Let me tell you, my grandson, he will work three hours a day, three days a week. He will tell you he's very busy. <laughs> Machine will make us doing that. And you should have a, when you believe in the future is good, you will do good things for the future. When you believe a bad future is bad, your mentality is in trouble. And then you will be upset. How can be a person upset, be creative? I just cannot imagine. Well, I've got to pick you up on that, Jack, because earlier this year, you talked about in support of the 996 yep. work routine. And I've got to underscore to those who don't know it, particularly in China, you work 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. six days a week. And you were given a hard time because of that. And you backed off a little bit. No. 996 is the sprit that I encourage in Alibaba people. If you want to have a bright future, if you don't want to be give up by the society, if you want to be successful, you have to work hard. Of course you can enjoy life, you know, I work only two hours a day. And can, you, can you enjoy life with a 996 regime? Yes, I do. I do. Do other people in Shenzhen and elsewhere? I, I, I think most of the people in this world whether they're a great president, whether they're a good professor, whether a good engineer, a good scientist, or a good anchor, like you. You work much more than you do. When I have a shower, I think I work. When I'm in the toilet, I think. <laughs> when I'm running, I think. We never stop working. Because today, why Alibaba need to 996? Because we, on our side, we have more than 60 million business rely on us. If you do not work hard, they will stay here. So we have to work hard. If you don't like your job, if you don't like the work you do, working two hours a day, you feel very bad. <laughs> if you love your jobs, people like me, if I love the job I'm doing, I love the things I'm doing, 10 hours a day, 15 hours a day, it's nothing. This is how you view it, the world. As an entrepreneur, if you, I, when I was tiny, I thought, mm, one day I become a big boss. I like uh, take a cigar, watch movie, business easy. I should work, make my company bigger. Now my company is much bigger. I'm much busier. More problems. So enjoy while you are small. <laughs> Big company does not mean money big. Big company means big responsibility. You take care of your more employees, more customers, more social responsibilities. Oh, I do regret. I could enjoy my life much better. But, you know, this is my life. I have to like it. I've got to tell you in the media, it can be not 996, but 1227. So I warn you, we work even harder than that sometimes. Now, See? You don't, a lot of people just don't want to admit it. We, everybody try to speak the things that people want to hear. But as entrepreneur, if you want to be the mentor, tell them the truth. Life is not easy. Now, what I want to do, Jack, is open it up. And what I want to do is make sure there are four microphones. Where are the ladies who've got the microphone? I can see your light here. Where are the ladies with the microphones? Please come forward, because I need, I need to know where you are. Okay, one there, one here. Where's the second and third and uh, fourth? Um, can I have some more light in the room, please? And, and I'm preparing, because can you help me? There's a gentleman here, who, four or five, and they're all using their, their phones to tell me where they are. Can you come in and get a microphone here? Thank you. Let's have some more light. And over here as well, someone someone here. But I want to position the microphones and move around fast. And Jack, do you have a, a headset? Do you have a translation or not? Yeah, I think of some... Could, could we get a translation? Because Jack, I want to talk about education. But I want to make sure that um, we're lining up a lot of questions here. Jack, let's have a headset if we can. If you... For the first question, let's do it in English if we can, but that's not to rule out anything else. You need to go to Channel 2 um, when we do that. But I want to finally ask you before I open it up, because I want to show we are opening it up for the next 35 minutes. 
I want to ask you about education and the, the work you're, you're doing on this. You've stepped back from Alibaba, but you've created a structure, you've created a process, you've created a momentum, and particularly for the next generation. So what is the principle you're trying to highlight at the moment? Why at the age of 55, okay, you've stepped back, but you've still got a job you feel that needs to be done in this scale of disruption? Yeah, I've been doing in the past 20 years on, on internet, and I found the more internet help people, the more people start to worry. For example, artificial intelligence is going to replace enough jobs. And I suddenly realized that, that most of the things and the way we teach our kids in the schools are for the industrial period. In the future, the artificial intelligence will make will make machine much smarter. Machine can remember more, remember accurate, machine can never get tired. So everything we teach, most of the things we teach our kids, machine can do better. So what education we should give our kids that they will be able to do the things better than machine? And what's your answer? Creative, constructive, I think very important, innovative, independent thinking. When there are so many opinions on the internet, people lose their independent thinking. And we should make our kids to be more creative. I saw so many young people in Ukraine, I went to the university yesterday, excellent, intellectual. But staying in the university is important. But people like us, we are not good at academic. We try every day, we learn from the society, we learn from the mistakes. We learn from our partners, learn from our employees and customers and competitors. And that will make you innovative, creative, constructive. So this is something I want to do something to help our next generation. They are never scared of artificial intelligence, never scared of robots. They can do things that robots cannot do. And all this to say today, we'll see you guys in the next video. And I hope that you like this video. Be sure to implement these rules to your everyday success because it's on the way. Don't forget to hit that like button and share this with your friends. Also, I will link the books that are created by this author down below. Check out the description. Don't forget to subscribe and also comment below whatever you think your favorite rule to success is. We'll see you next time.